It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1637, recorded Thursday, August 17th, 2017. Assault Weapon! On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we have two gadgets to send you back to school. My gadget from the thrift store will assault you with how awesome it is, and then I also take over the warehouse. All next on the Giz Whiz! It's the Salem Show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Frozen rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the drill sergeant of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How are you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing fine. And you are now back from Sweden. Yeah. So how was it? It was great. <laughs> actually, I'm currently in Sweden right now, actually. Oh, um, oh okay. I, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're recording this show a little bit early, so when this goes out, yeah, I'll still be in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm hoping it's going to be fun. Um, Microsoft sent over their uh, uh, agenda for what we're going to be doing, and it looks... I'm staying in... Um, a really fancy hotel. It's, wow! It's, uh, we're gonna take like a boat trip one day. Like, it, it should be so much fun. Just incredible amounts of fun. Oh my so, gosh. really, really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I have Can't not wait. done one of those trips in a very, very long time. Uh, the last one I did was Sony sent. 12 of us to Sen uh, Sedona, Arizona. Oh, man. And what a great... And in the morning, every morning you went down, there were piles of cameras and camcorders on desks, and you could sign out anything for the day. Oh, wow, and just and, go, like, shoot photos yes. with it? <laughs> yes. Well, they took us on uh, helicopter rides through the Red Rocks. A little, sc <laughs> a little scary. Um... And then the thing that I was kind of nervous about got canceled. Balloon. We were going to go ballooning. Uh, but, it, yeah, it was super. It was really great. And it was a very low-key thing. It was one of these things where come, have fun. If this, uh, any of our products work into anything you're doing, great. If not, we hope you had a great time. So Perfect. Very low-key. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, uh, I, the only other time I've really, like, I've, I've been on um, cruises that went into uh, Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula area and, and um, Jamaica and things like that. But the only other time that I've really been far away from North America was going to London once. And so this is going to be, oh, well, I went to Indonesia once. Um, so anyway, this is like one out of three times that I've ever left North America. So I'm really, really, really excited. Oh my uh, gosh! To see oh what, my what happens. Yeah, I, and yeah, I'll need to go to an uh, IKEA uh, there definitely. <laughs> see if it's yeah, any yeah, different. If you see if they have that little wrench, I need one of those. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you need put, yeah a specific Allen wrench for the yeah okay. to put the chest of drawers. Tell yeah. them I need the, the okay. Allen wrench for the eight hundred one dash two three nine walnut chest of drawers. Perfect, perfect. Was it was that? Uh, uh, they have weird names for all of their furniture. Was that Benny or uh, Bell Q? The furniture. Uh, sure. Charlotte three. Char it was the Charlotte, Charlotte three. Okay, perfect. Okay, nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm so excited. I'm so, oh, so, so great. excited. You know, oh. it was very funny because uh, Bill Gaines, a publisher of Mad, had a, a bonus plan that if you sold Mad so many pages, you went on a free trip. So I went on 20 Mad trips. I mean, Japan and Russia and Hong Kong. Wow. And Rome and Paris. And, and, and Chad, we were... <laughs> So ungrateful and uncaring toward the end. I remember one day we're all at the airport and I said, does anybody know where we're going? <laughs> and someone said, I, I don't know. It's either Mexico or Sweden. For that matter, does anyone know where we are? Man, where are we? Where, where are we right now? 
I got that way traveling with brushwood, definitely. Because, I can imagine. Because it, it was a new city every day. It wasn't yeah. you stay and, and get to know the place. You would, <laughs> you would land, you would do a show, you would wake up, get on a flight, land, do a show, wake up, get on a flight, oh land, do a show. Um, it was, and it, that's show business. That is show business, and that would that would go. For, you know, we'd have two, three week tours where, by the twentieth day, you're like, I, I have no idea where I am, and I have no idea where I'm about ready to go. Or you'd be pleasantly surprised. You'd land in a city and be like, Oh, oh we're in Boulder. Oh, I know this <laughs> airport. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, great. We're doing a show in Boulder. Oh, I love Boulder. You know, it was like. It's so funny, absolutely. As long as you didn't get the the uh, prep mixed up and and said, <laughs> right. "Wait a minute, he's I, drinking razor blades." I thought he was doing the other act tonight. Exactly. I thought he was going to be eating fire, not knives. Oopsie. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, there was only one time when there was one of those uh, connections where you land but don't get off the plane and then take off. Where I got oh, off yes, the yes, plane yes. and. That was a that was a horrible experience because I had a I had I, it was supposed to go land don't get off the plane land go find another flight and then go and take off and land and so I had a ticket for a gate that didn't exist so I'm like where is gate number thirty I'm so confused and I like show an attendant like where's gate thirty and they're like we don't have a gate thirty. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, this oh ticket isn't God. even for this airport. And I'm like, <laughs> are you joking me? And so then I had to run back to the gate and try to get back on the, the flight. It all, oh it all worked out. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah. Yeah, I have a few travel stories. But, but this isn't a travel what? show. This is a no, gadget show. No, it is not. So let's jump it, it, into some gadgets. All right. So um, I'm pulling back to school uh, gadgets together for ABC. And two I thought were really great. And I thought I'd do them on the Gizwiz. Uh, I've been reading that lots of students are going back to school with only a tablet for wow. going a laptop. And tablets are great, except typing on them is not the best. So here is a really exciting, inexpensive solution. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz, One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We have something here from iClever. I think it is clever. I don't know if the name of the company is so clever. iClever. Ta-da! Aluminum. Really nicely built. But what is it? I'll tell you, it is the iClever tri-folding wireless keyboard with backlight. Uh, actually, I guess it's with backlit. Okay, so they make nice gadgets, not so good with the English language. Uh, so what is the gadget? It's a tri-fold. There's one fold. There's the second fold. It is, so now it's a full-size keyboard. And I'm going to turn it toward you. Actually, I'm going to leave it toward me. Uh, and if you do function, alt, and then the up arrow, now it's red. Now it's blue. Now it's back to green. And now I'm going to do function and alt, and it's bright green. It's off. So you have, I'll do it again. So that's on. Come on. Whoop. On. And now I'm going to do it again, and it gets brighter. I have to tell you that according to the instructions, there are a lot of uh, backlights in this. And you know what? Hang on. Just keep, keep your, uh, that on the keyboard. And I think you can see better now what a beautiful keyboard that is. Okay? And I'm going to try and do it. Uh, let's see. Win. Alt. I hope I'm doing the right keys here because I have it backwards. I guess I'm not. I guess it's function, alt, that. Wow. That's the red keyboard. There's the blue mm. keyboard and the green. Yeah, uh, uh. So what we're, ha we're having a little bit of trouble with the camera because the camera keeps sending Bluetooth signals back and forth between the keyboard. And every once in a while, it knocks the camera uh, out of record mode. I'll turn the light back on again. So you see uh, how beautiful the keyboard, every key is backlit. However, there are so many LEDs in this that the company says 
with LED, you get five hours of battery life. Without LED, 300 hours of battery life. But, you know, if you're going cross country or something, five hours is plenty. Recharge it at home. I love LEDs, so I like this. Love the fact that it's full-size cap, uh, lock key, full-size shift, full-size enter, full-size backspace, and... This is a full-size desk keyboard. Ignoring the numbers, this is the same size as a full-size desk keyboard. And the price, too, is amazing. I'm not going to fold it up because that will shut the Bluetooth, and that will knock the camera out of record mode. Um, it's under 40 bucks. There it is online. And it got 257 reviews. And it got, I think it was 4.3 stars, which is pretty good. And the price is just great. Under 40 bucks. Uh, that's it. The iClever Ultra Slim Trifold Keyboard. If you're uninterested in the LEDs, uh, there's a very similar iClever keyboard like this without LEDs. That's 10 bucks cheaper. Okay, just $29.95. That's it. Dickie Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Ah, me clever. Bye. I think this is amazing for that price. Is that, is that neat? That I is mean, it's all aluminum. So nice. <laughs> Holy yeah. cow. Yeah. I, I, I think it's um, my keyboard to carry. Even with my phone, I, I uh, it, it's uh, keyed to my phone, and uh, if I'm just writing long emails or something, this is really great. I agree, and having a backlight is a really nice thing. I don't know if I need all the crazy colors, you know, all the different colors and stuff. Yeah, right, right. But having a backlight is great because I've been in plenty of situations where it's too dark, and I'm trying to get something done, and you just cannot see the keys. Having a backlight is really, really nice. I can't believe that it's so inexpensive, only $40. These must yeah. have gone down a lot in price because as you were explaining it and seeing its fold out you know, functions and things like that, I was thinking, gosh, this is gonna be like 100 bucks. This is gonna be yeah. really expensive, but gosh, the price has just gone way down. Yeah, I know, uh, I, and, and uh, you just passed it by. The non-LED version is just 29 bucks, 29.99. Wow. Uh, there it is. There it is. The number one bestseller in. Wow. Uh, yeah, uh, it is the same keyboard. Now that, that I see impressive. it. That is impressive. That is very impressive. Wow, yeah, I can see why. I mean, <laughs> For most school activities, you just really need a word processor, maybe spreadsheets, maybe, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you don't really need anything else. I mean, that's amazing. You could buy yeah. probably a, an amazing scientific calculator app, cost half the price of a normal scientific calculator, and uh, get, oh, man, that's amazing. That's, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's wow. pretty decent. Good price. I the iClever yeah. keyboard. Find it on the Amazon. iClever keyboard. Yeah. And the second thing is, I think even more of a bargain. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Mattis writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Gizwiz. Dot TV. Always looking for a unique and different kind of backpack to talk about on the Gizwiz. We had the backpack with solar panels that could uh, charge an interior battery. We had the backpack with a built-in burglar alarm. You pull the pin. There was a 110 decibel alarm that went off. And then we have this backpack from Inatech. And what's unique about this is they say it's theft proof and the reason it's theft proof is there are no pockets okay. <laughs> now actually this is one of the this is i think this is really amazing it's so simple it comes with its own raincoat okay so it's raining out and you have to run with your backpack you just put on the raincoat that it ships with and then you have a totally waterproof covering for your backpack and this just rolls up and goes in one of the pockets 
So this is the backpack itself. Uh, zippers are hidden zippers, which I in themselves are makes them waterproof or water resistant. Okay, and then inside, let me get it here. It's big enough to hold and it's gonna might be hard to see an eleven up to fifteen point six inch laptop in its own padded section. Then we have different areas to hold everything, but this is the other very unique thing about this. A bomb, USB, and a pocket here. So this pocket is where you put your external battery charger. Then you plug the USB into the output of your external battery charger. And then when you're wearing your backpack and it's zipped up, ta-da! You now have an external oh, wow. USB port. So Isn't that clever? That That's phone. very clever. If you are talking on the phone or you're sitting on the bus watching a movie and your tablet starts running out of power, just plug the USB from your phone or your tablet directly into the backpack and the backpack stays closed. On the side, there are pockets for a water bottle or an umbrella. They say that the fabric itself is water resistant. They say the fabric is tear resistant. It's some sort of, I think it's a nylon composition. I think it's really good looking. Uh, back here, this strap is for sliding the backpack over the handles of a suitcase. Oh my gosh, I need this so backpack. The backpack can stand on the suitcase. <laughs> Wait till you hear so how much. Back to college with uh, a suitcase and the backpack. And then these are pads against your back, except one of the pads has a little hidden pocket. So if you want to put something in there, that it's kind of a way that people might not think there's a pocket all the way in the back here. All right, now, the best thing about this, look at the price, $39.99. Wow. Now, only nine people reviewed it and gave it five stars. Uh, if I reviewed this on Amazon, I'd give it five stars, but wait, there's more. I have never seen this on Amazon. You know, underneath they have all these promotions. Usually it's buy two of them and get 10% off or buy one of them and get 20% off on a different product. This is buy one, <laughs> get 30% off. Wait, what? Okay. So I clicked it and suddenly it went from $39.99 to $27.99. I think that is an amazing value for this backpack, okay? Uh, I also like that it's uh, squared off. I like the feeling of the fabric. I, I think it's just a, a great deal. Uh, Inatech laptop backpack with USB charging port. That's it. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. And I guess if it's raining really bad, you could just do that. Bye. <laughs> That's amazing. Backpacks are not cheap. I mean, they no, are just you not know, I cheap. was, I've been looking and I, I, I go, this is kind of nice. And then I look, it's 99, it's a hundred bucks, 99.99. Yeah. And uh, so I'm searching through Amazon and, I don't know how I fell into this thing. And I thought, my gosh, thirty nine ninety nine. And then I kept rereading that thing. It said, uh, uh, I won. Get 30% off. Yes. Get buy one. Like, I'm going, that doesn't well, make sense. Well, it's not I'm how only, it works. I'm only buying one. And I said, well, all right, I'll click that. And then the price uh, in my cart went to twenty seven ninety nine. And I thought, do they know what they're doing here? Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I checked right before we recorded this that that was still up there. So, uh, oh, you know, you, you have the link to the uh, Amazon page there. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's it still is. there. Okay. Okay, perfect. It's just like, perfect. I, I can't believe it. Um, yeah. And it looks grayer in the picture. It, 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 it goes much more toward black in person. Let me see. Uh, I'm, um, uh, I don't know how it's going to show up on the camera here. It, uh, cut back to my yeah. camera for a second. And, it, oh, it looks gray. It's funny. It looks gray on camera than it does in person. But it's not a light gray. It's, if anything, it's charcoal. That's amazing. Um, yeah. I mean, seriously, that's, uh, I, I'm like really considering getting that because 
The only issue is that I normally travel with a big old DSLR, and so oh, okay, it doesn't quite have a pocket for that. So I tend to need no, a, it more of a camera bag. But um, yeah. I mean, that's just insane. I mean, normally um, I get what a Case Logic backpack is is what I've been tending. Yeah, to get. I, I love their stuff too, but they're going to be like up there. Oh, absolutely. I mean. Yeah. You know, I, I love them and they're great, but there's there isn't any <laughs> sub forty dollar uh, backpacks uh, at Case Logic. So, man, that's incredible. That's a yeah, good that gadget. Great? Good good back to school gadget. Okay, and now leaving school and moving into the kitchen, not my kitchen, which is not photographable, but Dennis's kitchen for. This neat gadget. Dick D. Bartolo, a man's maddest writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. You know, if you live in an apartment, especially like in New York City, refrigerators are small. Like they're like that tall, or they're little guys like that. And those little undercounter things, they don't make ice cubes, they make ice cube. Okay, so Dennis said, I want lots of ice, so he bought the Rosewell, the Rosewell, is it Rosewell? Yeah, Rosewell, portable ice maker, stainless steel, makes 26.5 pounds of ice in 24 hours. Um, does it? So we're going to unbox it. And we're going to do it the very fast way. Wow. It's unboxed. Quickest unboxing okay. ever. We'll save you the time. <laughs> so we have not looked at this yet. The only thing we see is it's a three-prong plug. And you fill it uh, from a pitcher. Okay, so it's not connected to plumbing. So what we'll do is we'll read the book. We'll plug it in. And we'll come back and we'll see if we made ice and exactly how long it took. So until that happens, you'll be on ice and we'll be right back. Oh, here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, it is making ice. Okay, it make it's making five cubes. It's making ten wow. cubes. Okay, you see now it made them. And they're hollow. They just fell off those ten stainless steel rods. And now the tray is picking them up, all right, and it's going to dump them into the ice uh, cube storage tray. And then it is going to go back down again and make 10 more cubes. So it makes 10 cubes like every six to eight minutes. And as you saw on the box earlier, it can make, oh, something like 24 pounds or... 26 pounds in 24 hours. I don't know if you can see it. Of course, just like everything, the flashlight is now going dead. But it's filling it with water, and then the tray will reset itself. Meanwhile, we have plenty of ice cubes over here, and these are the small ice cubes. They're more like ice bullets, okay? They're, they're hollow in the center, but they cool drinks uh, very quickly. The machine is on Amazon at all different prices. The lowest we found it on Amazon was $109. Uh, that included tax and shipping. And although warranties are usually not a good deal, uh, the four-year warranty was just uh, $14. So $350 a year for the warranty. Mm -hmm. uh, all in all, this is really pretty neat. The Rose Will countertop ice maker. Stainless and black plastic. It also uh, is available in stainless and white. And Oops, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to end the video that quickly. Do you remember what you were about to say? Uh, let's see. Um, oh yes, when the uh, ice basket fills up it will keep the ice cool but it will stop making ice and the uh, ice tray full light will come on. And when it starts running out of water, it'll also shut down and uh, the uh, add water L LED will come on. And you can click uh, make small ice cubes, make large ice cubes. 
This is it seems amazing. This seems great. This seems perfect for someone who has a smaller apartment. Um, it doesn't need to be hooked up to plumbing. You just kind of set it on the counter, and it just does its thing. Yeah, it's no, really uh, nice. you know, and and if you get one, ignore the first ice. The first ice it made was like watery, and I'm and then we looked at each other and said, "Uh oh, do we have to pack this up and send it back?" I said, "I said, you know, let it run for a few hours, and then a, a couple of hours later, Dennis called and he said, "I love this machine." Oh, good. Every time I take ice out of it, it goes back on and refills the ice tray and the ice cubes are not sticking together. And he has, as you saw, that, that he has one of those under-counter refrigerators. And although it makes uh, ice cubes, it doesn't make them really fast. And he said now we can actually put some frozen food in that freezer compartment. Right, exactly. It, yeah, because the ice is a, uh, an outside event now. The one bizarre thing, Chad, is no one knows how many watts it takes. It's <laughs> not on the box. It's not in any of the descriptions. I called the company, and the guy said, let me look through the specs. He says, you know, do you mind holding on? Let me go ask someone else because it's not here. So I said, no, I would love to know. And he came back and he said, it's 110 watts. And I hmm. said, well, I think that's 110 volts. He said, no, it's watts. I, I, there's a little compressor in there. So I, I don't think it could be 110 watts, but I'm not sure. Interesting. Um, so when Dennis gets a bill for $5,000 from right. Con Ed, <laughs> exactly. then <laughs> we might rethink Then we'll know. It. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but in general, the reviews, uh, um, can you go to the thing? Because I forgot. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, they're just they're go pretty to that good. Four, oh. four stars. You know, four point, yeah, four, four stars out of five. Um, plenty of people say that they like it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And people were mentioning in the chat room, and, and uh, I know this too, Rosewell is New Egg's house brand. Um, New oh, Egg. is it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so Newegg makes uh, Rosewell. In fact, you may find this at, at a different price on, on Newegg. Uh, you know what? That I was wondering because I just bought a, a Rosewill. It's Rosewill, right? Not yeah. well. Yeah, I think A so. Rosewill um, toaster oven last week for $32 or something, and I love it. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking... Who, what is this brand? So yeah. thank you. Yeah, there you go. Uh, is it cheaper over at uh, New it's Egg? It's exactly $99.99. Oh, it's $10 cheaper. Yeah, exactly. So I, I bet, bet people are buying it on New Egg and then reselling it. Right. Oh, but you know what? Yeah, it says sale ends in three days. So oh, yeah, maybe it'll go back to 109 Look at that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they make all sorts of stuff. Uh, they've made keyboards. I've bought a few of their keyboards a few times. And Does it keep your right. ice cold? Oh, yeah, the keyboard. Yeah, oh, man. that yeah, new absolutely. keyboard refrigerator mm -hmm. is great. The keys are actually ice cubes. Yeah. It's yeah. really amazing. Yeah. And if you need more room or you have trouble reading the keys, you can switch it to large ice cube mode. Makes oh, larger nice. keys. Oh, nice. Great. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Uh, I think we just gave them a million dollar idea. Exactly. I think Expect so. Expect to see that on Shark Tank in yeah. about three weeks. Yeah, there's some middle manager going, I see synergy here. I see synergy. <laughs> this is great. This is perfect. Um, with that, that is another great gadget. Let's head on in to Chad's crappy, crappy Corner! Hopefully yo, the mono... Yo, there we go, it always waits until I mention it. It's Happy Corner. Get it. They're out there, Dick. They're out there. We oh, can find oh, oh, them. Oh. And we can oh, destroy them. This is my gadget for today. And before we get too far, I do want to mention, today is National Thrift Store Day. Did you know? Oh, is it really? Have you celebrated? No. It is National Thrift Store Day today. So I hope everybody- Did they have a party at your local store and have used uh, food? Exactly, yeah. I think, you know, everybody should uh, show your uh, thrift store patriotism and, and head on over and buy at least something from the thrift store. Um, so, you know, everyone can celebrate that now. Now, do you know what this is? I don't know if we've ever covered this on the Gizwiz. Have you seen no. this before? 
No, is it like a super soca? No, it is not. Okay, so I'm excited. So this is called the Bug Assault. I recorded a video earlier today, so let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay. Hey, so we're back, and this time I have the Bug Assault. And the little itty bitty issue that I had was that I couldn't find really any bugs in my house. A pretty okay issue to have but not when you're trying to demo something that kills bugs. So I have some printed out bugs right here that we're <laughs> gonna set up to demo this. Let me set those down. The idea of the bug assault is that it is a alternative to a fly swatter, and you load it up with your own table salt. So there's a little area to put the salt into, and then you just dump some salt in there. Oh gosh, here we go. Oh, got some salt on the ground. The cool thing is, is that it's just salt. You know, it's not any other type of, uh, per of you know, thing. So you could shoot it and it will, the projectile is safe around household things. So the, I, then the next step is to cock it, just like that. And now it's primed. On the other side, there is a safety, which you have to push forward. And then it is ready to go. And then you can shoot some bugs. So let's grab a little bug here. Let's try to set it down so he's standing upwards. Come on, little bug. Let's, let's grab a bigger bug. There we go. Just like that. And then we aim at him. Aim down the barrel and fire. Oh, and he's dead. And now there's salt everywhere in my house. <laughs> It doesn't look like it actually penetrated through the paper or anything. You can, I can't really see any divots or anything like that. Let's so it's actually the back. impact of the salt that's yeah. doing it. Like yep. It doesn't go. clog see, his senses with salt or anything. Yeah, he's dead from the salt. Oh, from, okay. Oh, didn't, it didn't hit him that time. Got him, he's dead. One bug down. This thing uh, normally goes for, I believe around $20 online, 20 to $30 online. Uh, we got it for four bucks. Whoa. $4 for the bug assault. It also comes in various different colors. This one is camo with little flies as the camo pattern. I kinda, I kinda like it, I kinda like it. Now, they were showing off in the demo that you could shoot this at your food if a fly was flying around your food and kind of makes sense because it's only salt as the projectile, so only salt would get in your food, but I'd be worried that little bug guts would somehow fly off and oh, yeah. into the food. So I wouldn't suggest firing this around food, although technically I think it is, it is safe to do so. The bug assault, back to you in the studio. Okay, so I was a little bit wrong about the price. It's not $20, it is not. $30. It's actually $40 online. So me getting it for four bucks at my wow. local thrift store was quite a deal. I didn't realize how big of a deal no, it was. No, it is. Hey, Chad, can you wait one second? Just, uh, I have to finish this call. You can come back to me here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. You know, he doesn't want to get rid of bugs. He needs bugs. <laughs> well, you're an exterminator. Can't you deliver bugs? He's got a gun and he has nothing to shoot at. So can you bring him like an assortment, you know, like some roaches, some spiders, some flies? Yeah. Yeah, I gave you the address. Okay, very good. And surprise him. He'll be in Sweden all next week. So put him in his house when he's not there. Okay, thanks, Acme. Bye. That's exactly okay. what I needed. I was thinking maybe I should go to the pet store and pick up like crickets <laughs> or something like that that you would normally feed to a... To an animal and nah, uh, I prefer the paper thing rather than see too. something die on. Uh, we the only thing that dies on our show is you and me. <laughs> exactly, is our jokes. Those are really our the jokes, only thing yeah. that dies. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, I, and uh, we actually had one of these at Twit for a while because we did have a bug problem, and oh I can my. tell you that it it really did kill the bugs. Um, it really did work. So you know, it's not just paper uh, that it kills. Um, yeah, I, I really, really think this is a fantastic uh, gadget. If you have a bug problem, it's great when camping. Um, it's great, you know, just around the house. If you, if you do happen to have some, a fly issue, 
Um, and it kind of makes killing the bugs less of a chore. And also, if they happen to be around something a little bit sensitive, sometimes you can't get a fly swatter in there, but f shooting salt at the bug uh, is much easier to do. So the bug assault, and you can find out more at bugassault.com and purchase your own. Um, and I'm sure that it's on Amazon, things like that. So yeah. Excellent, Got excellent. Okay, so now let's head on into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. Horn. So not getting a video from OMG Mom. What happened, Mom? <laughs> we have to resort to OMG Son. Yeah. Okay, so I'm taking over the warehouse this week. I'm excited. because. Oh, okay, good. We oh, are, yeah. too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I like to kind of pull out some, uh, you know, back, back in high school, way back in the day, I really, really was into video production. I mean, I still heavily into video production. So I have a lot of gadgets that are, in my mind, very unique to that time period, 2005 to 2008 time period of uh, technical gadgets for producing videos. So I have, this is not a nuclear case. This isn't the, the presidential football. This kind of sketchy looking metal case is uh, what this uh, gadget transported in. Let's go ahead and, and let's see, let's get to a product shot here. Uh, you can see it being- Oh, open. Sony. It's really big, oh my gosh. Um, this was not the original case that it shipped in, but I purchased oh. this used from a guy on eBay. So inside, da, 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 we have some kind of homemade foam, and this is the gadget. So back in the day, you were recording on mini DV, mini digital video cassettes, and it was just coming to the forefront where you would want to record on something that you didn't have to log and capture. Because whenever you uh, recorded on one of those tapes, you'd have to play it back real time in order to get the footage onto your computer. And so these were just hitting the market as an alternative to recording with mini DV tapes. And they're portable hard drives that had a battery inside of them that would connect to your camera from Firewire. Remember Firewire? Oh my, yes, Firewire. Firewire had this really weird cable. Um, it's a little bit hard to see. It kind of looks like a U almost and the other one, and it was the fastest cable around. It was the only cable that could ever possibly handle a video, standard definition video, remind you, a standard definition, it was the only thing. And so these would clip onto, this is the battery for it, these would either clip onto the back of your camera or you could also clip it onto your waist and have the firewire go from the camera all the way down to uh, to your like to your side. Now, these I never these let's see if they still turn on. I highly 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 doubt that these will turn on. Mm, no. These were a few hundred dollars and I had two different varieties. I had the uh, FS4 which is this one right here and the FS4 Pro HD and this could handle uh, high definition video and had a, a larger capacity. Um, here's the user guide. Now, I wasn't able to find, I bought these used and I bought them used inside of a bundle of other gadgets. So I couldn't find the, the exact price I paid because I bought with these a camera and tripods and all sorts of stuff. So it was all kind of built in uh, to that price. And I also had a really hard time finding a price online right now because they're discontinued. I did happen to find them on B&H Photo. So here's uh, the B&H Photo page of the FS4 Pro HD. 
Um, these it had five reviews back in the day. Apparently, uh, this is a a nice product to have. And this is it's just funny that this is the go between between the digital video cassette and now what everybody uses, which is just SD cards. I mean. Why Why on earth? And what was the storage capacity? 100 gigabytes. 100 oh, gigabytes. So that, that was pretty, pretty good, good right? Then, right? Yeah, I mean, that yeah. was pretty good. I believe that this one is more like 50 gigabytes or something like that. I'm not exactly uh, certain how many gigs uh, the smaller one was. But yeah, they came with, you know, their big old battery packs. This was a, a tripod mount right here, a little tripod mount to fit onto the hot shoe of your, uh, wow. of your camera. In fact, I might keep that out because I could use that later. Um, yeah, there it is. Let's see if this, yeah, this has just all of the, uh, all of them on there. So it's a little bit hard to tell exactly the capacity and I don't see the capacity written, written anywhere. But yeah, so using Firewire, you would replace the future SD card <laughs> and it was such an investment that uh, this case was required in order to uh, make sure that nothing bad happened to the wow. products. So there and, you go. And, and what was the price you paid? I th See, I bought all sorts of stuff with it. I bought cameras and tripods. I even oh, bought wow. like a, a dolly thing. So I'm having a hard time remembering exactly how much I paid. I, I really wish that these were on eBay or something like that where I could find the price of it. That's and okay. Here, this is, uh, looks like I can get a used one for $500. What? On Amazon. Maybe I have a nice little, uh, a nice little gadget here that I could resell. Yeah, it looks like there's another used one, third party new for $202 on Amazon. And um, uh, another used one for for five hundred. But see, I don't know who on earth would try to buy one of these. Yeah, for nowadays. what reason? Yeah, exactly. Um, there's really no no reason at all that you would need to buy one of these. Apparently, they came in. Oh, look at the that one. It was forty gigabytes. So I had oh, the okay, there you FS4 go. Yep. HD for forty gigabytes. Um, there's, there's, there's all that stuff. I mean, if you had a need, I'd sell it. I'd sell it for that much. Absolutely. <laughs> time to sell. Yeah. Time to get rid and of it. And autograph it too. Yeah, exactly. And they'll get it and be like, why is this written on? I don't understand. <laughs> Who would write their name on this? Um, but yeah, the, the FS4 Pro HD DTE system. DTE, I forget what DTE stood for. Digital... I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's my gadget warehouse from way back in the day. Now it is time for the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the kids with letters now. Ah. But before the letter, let's remind people that oh, yeah. we do need more gadget warehouse videos okay uh we're looking for um, first time submitters like maybe someone's parent their mother maybe perhaps could send in a video <laughs> or any anybody uh can send in a video anything that as long as it includes a gadget old gadget new gadget gadget you hate gadget you invented make a two to three minute video put it on youtube on the drop down menu when you upload Click on listed if you want. That way only people with the link can view it and send us the link. It goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show it on the show and <laughs> probably have a 99% chance we'll show it, uh, you'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine and a 35-year-old Alfred E. Newman picture if you live in the U.S. or Canada. If not, we'll give you a shout out no matter where you live, okay? So we need a video for the next show. Uh, get, uh, mail at gizwiz.tv. Uh, letter of the week uh, from Bill Allen, who knows, and I guess the chat room knows, I love trains. So Bill Allen writes, I just saw an ad 
in Model Train magazine. I think you'll be interested in it's Choo Choo Shoes. Unfortunately, they don't come in my size or yours, but there's a demo at their website. <laughs> Choo Choo Shoes. Amazing. Uh, Choo Choo Shoes. Choo Choo Shoes with built-in train sounds. When you shuffle, they chug. When you jump, they whistle and light up. Choo Choo Shoes get boys and girls moving in a fun, healthy way. Make train tracks in the sand. Choo Choo Shoes have train tracks on the bottom. <laughs> Available in bold red and black, or pretty in pink. Choo Choo Shoes are fun for everyone. Order your Choo Choo Shoes today. I'd love to hear what they actually sound like. I feel like... I know. It... Oh, sorry. We, that song is a little loud. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to hear it not edited in. Um, yes. Wow, they have little lights on, on them, too. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, they have, the, they have a quiet time on-off button, make tracks in the sand. Um... Yeah, the quiet time button is needed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, it is. stop it with the choo-choo shoes. I don't want to switch out your shoes. Let's just hit the button. Um, interesting. Let's yeah, see. so Bill Allen, they're very funny. But uh, as Chad said, we have no idea from that commercial what they really sound like. Let's see if there's anyone. Here, here's some choo-choo shoes off of YouTube. Um, oh. No idea who who's made this video, but thank you to you. Uh Whoever this is, showing off the choo-choo shoes. Oh, this is their booth. Yeah. Once again, that's not a that's not a very good indicator. That could easily no. be faked. Okay, Absolute. well, I guess we're gonna have to find some real choo-choo shoes. If you own choo-choo shoes, there's your video of the week. Send them in. <laughs> Come Seriously, on. if you if you own choo-choo shoes. Make a video of your kids wearing them and let us hear what they really sound like. We think they probably sound nothing quite like <laughs> they do in, in the commercial. Exactly. The, um, Bill Allen, thank you very much for telling us about Choo Choo Shoes. Also, big thanks to our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Big thanks to you guys. Uh, we love our patrons, and we hope our patrons love us. Um, you guys support us every single episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like the show and want to support, patreon.com slash gizwiz is a way that you can send us a reoccurring payment every episode, and it doesn't have to be big at it all. It could be 50 cents. Tiny. It could be 10 cents. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, anything is appreciated. Big, big thanks to you guys uh, for supporting this show. Also, if you don't want to give a recurring payment, you can give a single payment. There's a PayPal link on our website, gizwiz.tv. Go to the Patreon tab, scroll underneath the Patreon banner, and it is right there. Gizwiz.tv is our home for our live stream. We're live about every Thursday at 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Uh, you can go there, check out the live stream, join the chat room, or see any of our previous episodes. Head on over to gizwiz.biz for all of the things that Dickie D writes up. He writes up great articles, basically, about all of the gadgets that we cover. And while you're there, play What the Heck Is It? You're really only going to get this is the last time I'm actually going to be able to remind you before we get a new gadget because the next episode is recorded on the last day of the month and it's going to publish on the first day and it'll be over. So go and get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, this is the gadget. This is a full gadget. We don't tell you what it is. Your, your, your task is to guess the gadget and uh, I think it is... Uh, pretty simple to say that this is a drain cover of some flavor. You put this over your drain, make sure that things don't get caught in it or on it or anywhere around it. If you have an idea of what this is, if you know really what it is, there's 12 Madden magazines for the correct answers. 
But there's 24 Double the Mad magazines for hilarious, clever, interesting, or funny answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. With that, I think that's about it. Make sure you send Perfect. in your videos. Uh, mail at omg, uh, mail at gizwiz.tv, and we will see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>